Hi, this is Megan, and today I'm going to be talking to you about asking for help when you're high functioning. When I was first, um, I'm going to be talking about when I was first diagnosed, but this applies to reporting new symptoms once you've already been diagnosed as well. So I started experiencing depression in college. I went to a mental health center on campus and talked to a counselor there and explained I was crying a lot, I was always tired, I was feeling anxiety, and um, I was just generally unhappy. And I thought I did a pretty good job explaining my symptoms, and then she said, okay, well, how's your academic life? And I said, well, I'm on the dean's list, I have all A's, I'm going to all the necessary and required events for my major, I got a job offer for the summer, I am even going to the fun celebratory events in the hopes that maybe I'll enjoy myself a little. So on paper, you know, I was doing great. I was, I was really, really succeeding. So she said, well, uh, it sounds like you're doing fine. This is just normal stress for a college freshman. And I really felt that was a wrong assessment. And I felt freaked out because if that was true, that meant there was nothing I could do about it. There was no disorder or problem to be treated. I was just gonna have to feel like that forever. And there was nothing I could do about it. So I came home and I told my mom and she agreed with me that there was definitely something more wrong than just normal stress. So we went to the doctor and that's when I was diagnosed with depression. Um, and then later I had more symptoms and I went to the psychiatrist and was diagnosed with bipolar two disorder. So uh, what I did was I did not explain my symptoms well enough. I was not explicit enough. It's so important to be explicit when you're explaining your symptoms to your doctor. People might consider us overdramatic because um, people with bipolar disorder, we tend to feel more than people without a mental illness, but it doesn't matter if you feel like you're being overdramatic. If you're telling the truth, that is what the most important thing is. You have to explain every single little detail. Every thought in your head that's disturbing or upsetting or weird or embarrassing, you have to tell your doctor or else they won't be able to help you. They need to know all the information in order to properly treat what is going on. So it's hard explaining it to family and friends because you don't want to freak them out, but you also want them to understand. So if you explain as much as you can and they still don't understand, even after you're explicit with them, you just have to accept that and try not to take it personally. But with your doctor, it's so important that you tell them exactly what's going on and how, how often a day you're crying, how often you're feeling like self-harming, how often you're getting these negative thoughts in your head. Uh, explain that you're high functioning, but that has nothing to do with your mental state. It really doesn't. So be sure to tell your doctor that the fact that you're functioning well does not mean you're fine. And they should know that. They should understand high functioning depression or other symptoms because I'm sure they've seen it before. But if you're not telling them, if you're all you're saying is, well, I go to work and I come home and I make dinner and that's it. And sometimes I feel a little sad. They're, that's that's kind of average for a person with bipolar disorder, but if in reality you're having thoughts that are disturbing you or you're feeling actual depression, you need to explain that to your doctor. They can't read your mind. And I know it's hard because you feel like you're exaggerating or like you're being dramatic or or like they're not going to believe you, but most in most cases your doctor will believe you and he will try to help you and that's the only way you're going to get help is by really explaining everything that's going on. So just remember, explaining your symptoms is not complaining. It's not. Explaining your symptoms is not complaining. If you are highly functioning with a mental illness, that is an incredible feat. That is nothing to be ashamed of. So, thanks for watching. Keep that in mind. And um, make sure to like 
and follow and subscribe to International Bipolar Foundation. Thanks.